Mr. The Mark. producer of The Running Man and everyone's favorite showman, Damon Killian! <laughs> Welcome again to another episode of Motion Picture Meltdown. I'm Stephen the Roast Rosenberg, and joining me today, Mark the Shark Hinton, yeah. Phil the Kill Collins, Yo. and Travis once again. Hello. So are we going to make you a full-time podcast host or what? Well, I'm going to try to be here as much as possible, so. Good. Sure, why not? All right, Travis is the unofficial so no. host. <laughs> hey, he's I've been the, here for a lot of the most recent ones. He's That's the true. ghost host with not the most. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I'll take it. He roasts the most roast. No, God he does not roast the most roast. I roast the most. Do you, roast. Boast, do you boast on the roast you make the most? I do. Why is this turning into something I used to yell about? It's like a Ned Flanders. <laughs> it's like a Ned Flanders conversation. No, like, yeah. yeah, welcome to this diddly podcast. <laughs> Mark, Mark's, Mark's, diddly, really yeah, yeah, Mark's the only one that diddles things. <laughs> but, but the Why do I gotta be the diddler? <laughs> diddler Kid. on the roof. <laughs> If you want to dance, you gotta pay the diddler. You do. You do not <laughs> always say that. Yes. You never said that. Wow, never. This fucking oh, you know asshole says never, nothing. He doesn't never, always say anything. Never said it ever. You're not fucking. <laughs> well, if you want to dance, you gotta pay the fiddler. <laughs> I told him that's what I always say. Yeah. Was, no. yeah, you never said that. <laughs> you never <laughs> said that. Oh, you, you gotta pay the fiddler. What? You never said that. I'm yelling it as I'm crossing the street. You know, you've never said that ever. <laughs> I'm gonna say it all the time. Never you don't. So today we're going to go over a couple of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Yeah! It's been far too long since we've done an yeah. Arnold movie. Dude, Not if, really. If we go more than one podcast, it's too long, honestly. Yeah. It's true. If you really we just did Conan and Conan like the Destroyer. It's just it's been, been like four podcasts since then. <laughs> it's no, it's true. Too long. And, this yeah, and plus we've had to watch Highlander and Battlefield Earth. Actually, I didn't watch that. <laughs> Fuck all you guys. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. This bro- again, I hate you. This, like, brings Arnold, I think, up there with Hulk Hogan, because now this is... Because we did Commando. And then Conan, Conan the Destroyer. Did we do any other Arnolds? I'm sure we did. Um, we were going to do End of Days, but we didn't. Yeah. We, Jingle All the Way is coming, though. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. And we, we need to go ahead and throw End of Days in there somewhere. I mean, yeah. fuck it. <laughs> and then you say we were going to do we're gonna do in New York We're going to do something. End of Days <laughs> oh, Red Hell. Heat. Yeah. No, not Red Dude, Heat. Dude, Red Heat is cocaine. Okay. It's so bad. So today we're doing The Running Man, <laughs> and we're doing Total Recall. And when I was seven years old, I had a VHS with like seven movies in my room <laughs> at seven years old. I had an Arnold 3 pack, seven years old. Total Recall, Running Man, Red Heat. I watched all three of these movies at least 300 times in my yeah, life. Seven, <laughs> seven years old. Yeah. Red Heat is really bad. Yeah, it's seven years old. <laughs> That's awesome. Why did he look in violent? His, his fucking spiked haircut in Red Heat is the most it's ridiculous <laughs> thing. It's a, it's a, hello, I think emotion. he thought it was going to be really cool and then he was just... This is fucking stupid looking. <laughs> yeah, that movie was shitty too. Dude, fucking I, Jim I love Belushi, almost right? all of his movies. John Belushi. Yeah, it's Jim, Jim Belushi. The, the one Jim. that's not dead. <laughs> yeah. So Running Man is from 1987, uh, directed by Paul Michael Glazer, who uh, also directed <laughs> Kazam, oh, which we will be doing next season. Oh my season. fucking god. And that's pretty much it. But what it was written. It was written by Stephen King, actually, or Richard Bachman, actually. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah. That's what his which is completely is. different. The story is. <laughs> yeah. Like well, it wasn't oh, even called the, the Running Man in the yeah, story, it was. was it? Yeah, it was. No, it was. It was. It was. It wasn't a story. It was a book, like a novella or whatever. No, it was a full book. The Running Man was a full book, but it, but you're right. The storyline was way different. Totally different. Yeah, because it was like the people had to keep walking forever. And he and wasn't a military guy. He was like just a normal like. Guy he, did, he did it to like support his family. Family, or yeah. He went. He went on there to to make money for his poor family. 
So it's like the Hunger Games. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, kind of similar. But probably way better. Probably? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, it is. It is. It's way. Hunger Games was shit. A dick. Sorry. I don't give a fuck if anybody... I haven't read the book. I've it. only seen the movie. The and books, it was kind of slow. I've so. heard that the books are amazing. I have all three of the books because I bought them for an ex-girlfriend, and then the day we broke up, I gave them to her, and then she threw them at me. So now I have those books. I have And that Hunger yet. Games in print on my ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just right in the middle of my temple. It's just it's Hunger Games. <laughs> God, we're never going to get to actually... So, <laughs> have you noticed that Philip is just slit his wrist depressed about the podcast at all times? That's because like, we, God, I never have the clip so. podcast late. Why well, just said, like, class. Chiefs and... <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah or I just yet. said it one time <laughs> in a normal voice, not like a fucking crazy zombie monster. <laughs> Chiefs and the zombie monster and about zombie. So, <laughs> Running Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course, plays Ben Richards, and then... The Baker of Butchers. I guess, yeah. yeah. That's right. Not the Butcher of Baker's film. The Baker the of Butcher <laughs> of Baker's film. <laughs> the, main, wow. the main villain, of course, is Damien Killian. 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 Who is the owner of this game show that apparently everybody and their fucking mother watches. Like, old people, young people, Asian people from the crowd. Yeah, yeah. there's a slew of old people. And Richard Dawson oh, is the original host oh, yeah. of Family Feud. Yeah. And he's dead. He plays Killian, by the yeah. way. That's Damon Carey dead. And you know that old people watch this because um, that's pretty much most of the people that he most interviews. Crowd, yeah. Yeah. How to pick a stalker. I can pick anyone I choose. And I choose... Ben Richards. Richards. That boy's one mean motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Why is mean it when, when old people cuss and when it's children so, fuck, it's also it's it's so good. <laughs> like when a five year old says a motherfucker, it's the best thing in the world. <laughs> It is awesome. I'm too drunk to watch. I, to my girlfriend's room. little boy goes and grabs movies off of my DVD rack earlier today, and I was like, quit fucking with those. And he goes, I'm not fucking with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not fucking with them. Yeah, I was like, Time out. I was like, no, you can't. I'm just not even saying yeah. that. Yeah. I'm going to pretend like, you know I didn't what? hear that. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck ever. So the point of the game is basically they take these convicts and Arnold's been Possibly wrongly accused, it. yeah, and thrown, throw them into this game and send a bunch of stalkers after him, which are professional <laughs> game show killers. Basically, they're welfare supervillains. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah they're Mark way, said we should dress up as a bunch of stalkers for Halloween. Oh, that dude, awesome. I want to get the lights like Dynamo. Oh, God damn it. I want to get You yeah. just have to buy a bunch of light brights. Dynamo <laughs> <laughs> <Not, not about laughs> has the easiest yeah. costume. And he's just fucking one of those out of the Christmas tree out. Yeah. 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 And not, only di- not only that, but Dynamo is probably the most worthless. Worthless <laughs> fucking Oh, my God. stalker. That's what he does, is just sings at you. He's gonna sing you to death. And And shoots and she's like, oh my god, I'm so bored. Fat lightning bolts. Because he's like 400 pounds and he's wearing a giant. 25 light brights in a mobile. <laughs> yeah. That's it. And then he drives around in a Lego car. Dude, that car is the most is a piece, piece of, of garbage. Shit. And he gets stuck in it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he tries to drive up a sheer cliff for they, some reason. I can't remember. They don't even kill him, though, do they? No, no he, he doesn't. Just, he just he dies just, later, though. No, oh, does he? Yeah, because he tries to rape that girl. Rape in a movie that we chose. Rape <laughs> yeah. What if yeah. But yeah, she, shocker there. Yeah. What, he gets wet or something gets electrocuted. Oh, of gross. course. He gets wet. But he does turn well, that dude into a charred skeleton, though. Yeah. And then you've got, um, I, I don't remember who played Dynamo. Oh, uh, Edward Van Lith, whoever that is. Like no one cares. No, no one cares. <laughs> I kind of want to, because I feel like I've seen him in something else. Erland? Alone in the Dark in 1982. Okay, I definitely did not, because he's in nothing. <laughs> Jesse Ventura, who's in like a million Arnold movies. Yeah. He actually plays Captain Freedom, who is another He's a stalker. retired stalker. Yeah. Then you've got Fireball, who's Jim Brown, who's actually the guy Mark was talking about in the last podcast. That From was Mars the big Attacks, black yeah. boxer that was in Mars Attacks. Who I thought was Ving Rhames at first. I was like, there's no way Mark didn't remember Ving Rhames. No, I would have remembered Ving Rhames. Yeah. Jim Brown, not as, I, not as memorable. No, not I don't at all. watch football. And I don't care. Then you had uh, Buzz, was it Buzzsaw? Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is pretty. <laughs> 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 he had chainsaws that could cut through steel, yet he just cut through cardboard the entire yeah, time. Yeah, so cardboard. Stupid. And then when they show him fighting Arnold, he's a, clearly hitting steel, and it's not cutting through it. He is a <laughs> roided out motherfucker, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. for sure. And he sucks. And you know what <laughs> <He does. laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's really But he was the stalks. champion stalker from every, last season. Every yeah. stalker in that show destroys a massive part of the set when they come out. I mean, <laughs> they have to like rebuild the whole thing after every game, I guess. And then, of course, there's Sub-Zero, who's the Asian hockey guy. With no, the, he's just playing Zero. With a hockey stick, chops a goal. I right thought out. he was Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. But he's not Sub-Zero, right, Philip? No, he's not. He is Sub-Zero! 
Now, plane zero. Plane zero? <laughs> Clever. Well, plane zero. Yeah. Fucking Who plan. fucking yeah. wrote that? Arnold. 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 Yeah. Arnold definitely. He just comes up and he goes to the director. He's like, hey, "Excuse me, uh, I don't like what you said. Uh, you, my script is uh, I killed you, Asian giant man. I don't like it. <laughs> I got another one for you. Yeah, it's a." Uh, uh, just, Plane just hit the button on the TV <laughs> screen camera. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. TV screen camera. Oh, yeah. He's apparently a fucking caveman. Also. Well, he he must have written pretty much all his lines because when he's talking, everything to he says is a one liner. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Even Every when he's he's having one-liner. like that big main conversation with Killian about being put on the show, Killian's like explaining the whole thing to him. I'd like you to volunteer to appear on tomorrow's broadcast of the Running Man. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. come on. What kind of great... Like, how, he was waiting for it. Because, you know, he was sitting there the whole time. Like, the guy yes, starts talking. He's like, you, fuck I'm you. going to say fuck you. <laughs> I'm, going to say, I'm going to say fuck you. I don't I'm know what your question is. You. My response, I promise you, will be fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. And not only will it be fuck you, it'll be fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most authority that only Arnold can give to a fuck you. And so, basically, the whole movie is just Arnold running through this huge maze. Killing Where, people uh, as he goes. Wearing um, one of the Jamaican bobsled <laughs> 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 for real. Oh my god, it totally suits. was. Yeah. And totally they take the time to they take the time to stitch everyone's name onto those suits. Yeah. If they're going to get killed, why? And they're kind of are bobsleds in this too. Dude, yeah, they, they said, said, oh, oh my god, god. god. why is there so much bobsledding going on? <laughs> Where the fuck is John? This is definitely Dynamo. Well, he cheated. That's why he ended up getting killed. Yep. God, God fucking damn it. So good. But but there is bobsledding. That was one of the things that I thought was fucking idiotic about this movie. It's like, they launch him down this huge pipe and why? No one just to the, scare no them? Yeah, yeah, no one the audience they get to the that. end, they hit the net, and then they're just like, oh, now it's time to get out. And Except they don't hit, or whatever Arnold throws the bad guy down there, he doesn't hit the net. Well, the net is just down. gone. And, yeah, he just slams into f- and of course, the bobs like burst into flames. <laughs> why? <laughs> not, no, not All just flames, it just explodes. <laughs> yeah. a, f- a completely steel frame hits a wooden billboard, and it explodes. <laughs> and it causes somehow. a fucking explosion, like... As if everything was made out but, of, like, fucking ex- plastic ex- explosions. Yeah, in its defense, at least it was a real explosion. Yes. Uh, I'll get that. There was no sure. ditch explosions. Oh, and what's Sub-Zero's real name? Look at that. <laughs> professor Toro Tanaka. <laughs> what? Dude is his first name professor? professor? <laughs> like, oh, my name's Professor. It's probably like a wrestler In the or movie something. they even refer No, dude, he's in fucking everything. He's in yeah. Last Action Hero. Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, oh shit. Oh, he was the, the uh, he the was... Butler? Butler, yeah. yeah, yeah. He was, what's Fuck his name? Yes. Butler. I didn't know that. The was man child. Yeah, the man child. Yeah. I don't remember his name. Three Ninjas? And, and oh then in God. Last Action Hero, he was driving the cab and died. Oh, okay. Is he dead now? Looks like he quit acting. Well, he died. He died in 2000. God at age man. 70. He's super oh dead. <laughs> he, didn't even, he didn't look old at all. No. That's because Asian people have two ages, 22 and 70. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they look 22 until they're 70. And then they, they look 70 immediately and then die one day. And that's Asian yeah. people? Yeah, that's Asian people. There, <laughs> there's the racism. Thank you for setting that, that up for me. I didn't realize. Motion picture about that racism for the day. Yep. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about the fact that the guy is trying to get him to give up like halfway through the... Uh, no, yeah, he's trying to get him to join the dark side or whatever. Yeah, oh, you can be a stalker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that you've killed half of our stalkers, I'll get ten points for his biceps alone. Yeah, Dude, he wants oh, to rape him. Look at him; it's beautiful. And why is creepy TV guy from No Hold Barred also or... creepy TV guy in this movie? <laughs> yeah. he's, t- he's creepy TV guy in every movie. Yeah, that's and Blaze World too. He's yeah. creepy. T- you remember the Island yeah, that's, Man? That's all. That's all he does. Creepy that's his only guy. role. He's I mean, like, like Black people look at him. He's like, you know what? You look like a Weasley fuck that would put some shitty reaction reality TV show on the air that no one would watch. You want to be in this movie? Yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> I have to be. So will, I, was, will I be playing a, 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 a skeezy a TV executive? Yes, he is cheats. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to fuck you. It's, it's hard to do the Weasley voice without being without cheats. Without making a cheats voice. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. She sounds like a weasel. So does it. She's cast. She's cast. She's cast. Actually, I sound more like a uh, just a nerdy kid. <laughs> so how I does, love you, Chief. So how does uh, Arnold react? You cold-blooded bastard! I'll tell you what I think of it. I live to see you eat that contract. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! Ah! <laughs> yeah! ah! He just goes berserk and it's so good. Everything about, every line, everything is just personally delivered. That line and 
the, the one from End of Days where he tells the devil to basically go fuck himself. <laughs> oh. The best <laughs> Arnold. Quiet Hill boy compared to me. Yeah, he fucking quiet fucking, boy. You're a fucking quiet boy. Oh, <laughs> Just so Satan, Satan himself. Choir boy. That, that's when you know that you no longer get a fuck. No, no. Yeah. Like, hi, I'm the devil and I can do whatever I want. Well, fuck you. You're a quiet boy. Dude, the Running Man is one of my favorite movies. I, I, mean, I love like, that movie. I've, I've got excited. like Predator and then Commando and then like for third place it's like Running Man, Total Recall. Total Recall's definitely up there. Fucking Terminator 2. Like it's so hard for me to fucking pick. It's, it's just hard! Like, tied, <laughs> tied for third place is every other Arnold movie. Except <laughs> yeah. Red Heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah not Red, Red Heat. Red Heat gets like 12th place somehow. Uh, <laughs> Red Heat is 4th place. That movie is bad. <laughs> It, it, it is, is really, really fucking bad. bad. But we're obviously not podcasting about that. Even though we have been. <laughs> yeah, but how can you, you can't talk about just one Arnold movie? It's, it's true. Movie. He plays pretty much the same character in every movie, so. Yeah, and well, except for, well, I don't know, Terminator 1, he doesn't really say shit, so. What's yeah, that, like true. four or five lines? Got a pretty wide range. But in Terminator 1, you probably knew about 12 English not words, really. so. I was watching it last night, and like, I just forgot awesome. how just fucking brutal it was. I fucking love it. The first Terminator, I love it. It was so sad at the end when the Terminator gets killed. I'm just kidding. It's not sad at all. It had been like <laughs> <a term laughs> probably fucker. close to ten years since I've seen really? the first one, and I wow. remember being way more boring than it was last night. Oh, dude, oh, I love that it's movie. So yeah. good. But there are fewer explosions <laughs> than the Terminator Two, so that's why. But the explosions like... in Terminator One are so fucking awesome. Like yeah. when that truck blows They're up really at the legit. end. <laughs> so awesome. But we'll go ahead and move on to uh, Total Recall from 1990. Are we done running? Yes, we're done with running. Maybe. Oh, he kills the bad guy in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, he kills all of the bad guys. Yeah, he there. really does. The director of Total Recall is Paul Verhoeven. Verhoeven? Who also Verhoeven. directed Verhoeven. Robocop. Yes. Starship Troopers. And Starship yes. Troopers. Oh, my God. Yep. Yeah. Hollow Man, which is Brandy's favorite movie. I want to fucking high-five this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty awesome. And Basic God, Instinct. Kevin Bacon raping everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was so creepy in that fucking movie. Invisible. He's like, oh, I'm just going to be invisible and touch girls' boobs. Because that's the first thing I gotta do when I'm invisible. It's just touch you just molest people. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, that's I acceptable now because I can't see you. No, it's not Kevin Bacon. Please go back. Yeah, to but the fucking... thing is, is that like, get back in sleepers and get, get back in fucking white True. water. I mean, even if even <laughs> if invisible raping like just goes and grabs a handful of tit, the first thing that anyone's gonna do is slap it away, even if you can't see it. They'll be like, that was still a hand, even though I can't see it. Fuck this, this shit's haunted. I'm leaving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just a haunted titty grab. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ghosts are not interested in boobs. You go go watch the entity and you'll change your mind about that. <laughs> there is so much grape in that movie. Grape? <laughs> Ghost grape? <laughs> I, I'm dead right serious, dude. That's what the whole movie's about. Yeah. And, and it's made in the 80s. It's real. It's actually really good. So that movie it's with uh, Johnny Depp and fucking what's his face? Is that, just, that movie's just what's eating Gilbert rape? Ghost rape. God damn it. No. <laughs> you said what's eating Gilbert Rape. That's exactly <laughs> what you said. What's eating Gilbert what's Rape? What's eating Gilbert Ghost Rape? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyway. anyway it's total fucking recall. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Douglas Quaid slash Quaid. Hauser. Hauser. The guy's Spoiler asshole. alert. Spoiler alert, it's the same guy and he's not... <laughs> He's the fucking total recall bullshit. Spoiler alert, alert basket case got uh, a second acting job as Quato. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for real. Sharon Stone's in this, of course, plays Lori. Um, you got my ass. Here goes another fucking movie with Michael Ironside. Man. Yeah. Dude, I, I love Michael Ironside. He's yeah. awesome. <laughs> He's a fucking dick. Tear your he plays Richter, who is... Uh, the right hand just wants to go to the party. Right hand. Yeah, he does, he does want to go to the party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently there's a party that we never get to see and he really wants to go. <laughs> Have people yeah, never seen this movie? Like, other people that haven't seen it? Oh, yeah, Brandy sitting right next to us. <laughs> see you at the party, Richter! Apparently it was pretty important for Arnold. And well. then throws his severed arms at it. Yeah, both of them. After he falls like 20 stories. He has no yeah. arms. He has no chance of living through this fall. I mean, even if he had his arms, he had no chance. But uh, It's like that, that part in Wraith where the dude's screaming Jake like five minutes after he's already left. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Jake! Did you, on that podcast, did you put the uh, the reference to the John? <laughs> I did. What the fuck? I, I forgot. <laughs> Yay! You have to put it in the So... <laughs> so you have to do a post-edit on that. Yeah. So Total Recall is... Actually kind of an awesome plot. Super awesome. Very good plot. Great. Very Excellent. Good plot. Based on, once again, based on a book. Yeah. 
And right. see, Phil Kiddick, isn't it? Was it? I, I wasn't. Yeah. Go back up, it should say. And I'm gonna, I know, get, have and I'm gonna get all sorts of shit for this from all three of you, and I understand that. But I, I stand. Ah, fuck you! I stand by. <laughs> I stand by it because it's such an awesome plot. It made for a good remake. Nope. And not because of Colin Farrell, because I do not fucking like Colin Farrell very much. But the storyline itself does very well in the modern technology of movie making. So fuck all three of you. Yeah, I'm calling total bullshit on it, man. I don't, total... I don't buy it. I won't watch it. Fuck Colin Farrell. End of story. You're only <laughs> saying that because all you've done for two weeks is watch movies every day. Every no. Day. And a lot of them are probably bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, really I've bad. never watched the bad movies. Speaking of that, <laughs> that's funny shit. You never watched the bad movies. Vampires. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Vampires. Ah, yes. yeah. Never watched a bad movie, and he definitely has never slept through one of those bad movies. No, <laughs> that has not never one. fucking. Well, it's it. probably true then. He probably has never watched one because he's fucking asleep. <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah. Why you cover that? Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> all of you. Sleep in Rosenberg. To hell. Sleep in no, Rosenberg. No, but Total yeah, Recall the remake yeah. can suck a dick. They should have just called it something else and swiped the plot. That's all I have to say. <laughs> it worked fine for Avatar. Total. Avatar wasn't called fucking Pocahontas in space. It was called Avatar. And do you know why? Because he didn't want to rip off Pocahontas, but he did. Pocahontas Total Recall. Just, just, just look at how he is in my phone. As sleep and snores in the sleep <laughs> And obviously asleep in the picture. No, of course. Of his name. I don't. And sleeping through a podcast movie. Steven, wake said up. I'm sleeping. not asleep. See, I wasn't asleep. <laughs> you were asleep. I was yeah. Plot of this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we had yeah, to start Go ahead and yet. talk about it. Apparently in the future, you can go on virtual vacation just in an instant, just having your vacation downloaded it's into your brain. It's just a memory, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A memory of something that didn't happen. So <laughs> basically, rather than actually get, doing it. You get memory vacation raped. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, but it's consensual. But anyways, <laughs> so something happens, and he thinks that the that the you know the vacation thing didn't happen, and he's like woken up from it. So you, you're thinking the whole movie maybe this is just part of his crazy like fucking vacation. national lampoon mm-hmm. fucking bullshit. <laughs> but so you know he's murdering his way to the top and finds Quato, and then the rest is history. And then he goes outside of he goes outside of. Uh, Outside of the little air, whatever, and his eyes pop out. And, and then Joel prints a picture of it out. Philip, <laughs> but Philip oh, just repainted the picture of a plot the same way a four-year-old would paint yeah. I will so say that was a very good to see a vacation, and it got in his brain, and then he... Uh, there was Quato and then his eyes popped out. Right. Hey, <laughs> fuck you, I could have just he read had, what was he on He had the screen. urge to make the memory of himself being on Mars as a secret agent because prior in his life he was on Mars as a secret agent. But he was he'd forgotten. He it, right. It's subliminally he wanted to do that and then when he tried to do it again he couldn't because the recall won't allow you to do something that you've already done. So then he just started freaking out and the blue macabre! <laughs> yeah, murdering the yeah. fucking shit out of everybody. And because talking to himself in videos. That was really excellent. Yeah, but because he... That guy's an asshole. Did you get a quote from Johnny Cab? No. You're in Johnny Cab. You are in a Johnny Cab. How did I get here? You, you, you opened the door, you got in. <laughs> <laughs> but he, like you said, kills his way through pretty much everyone because... It, it was a, all a setup. Yeah, everyone everyone in his life was being basically paid actors. And this, well, that's basically, because but pretty, there's there's a bunch of mutants and people on Mars that want freedom and liberation. And air. And, and Ayla. Yeah, Ayla, 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 Ayla Copenhagen. from Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> Give this people air. Air. <laughs> and this movie is also yeah. a bloodbath of awesomeness. Like oh, so they, took their, they took oh. their blood packs from RoboCop for sure. Yeah. There's oh, oh the bullet holes blood. in people are so gigantic too. Just, they're like <laughs> nine inches wide. Yeah. Speaking of bullet holes, the, you people, know what's not awesome? This movie. Every <laughs> single car. The cars are it, really. It dumb. looks straight up like something a kid would make out of Legos. If he only had the flat pieces and wheels. Lego car from Running Man. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh they God, just, fucking... and like the, the director came up and was like, can I have 80 of those? Sub-Zero. <laughs> now he's just playing Zero. We've got the borrowed car. Can, they put it in the total recall. You can tell <laughs> what it is is they took a golf cart and just put, put like some shit a plastic over it. frame yeah. around it. Yeah, because they had you know, they had to they save money. They had the same steering wheel. <laughs> They're mostly three-wheeled, aren't they, as well? Did the Johnny Cab have a steering wheel? I can't remember. Yeah, because yeah, he rips yeah. Johnny Cab out of the fucking way. He steals it. Come here. Sharon Stone plays his fake wife and tries to kill him like 300 times in the movie. <laughs> and finally he... But she does for real fuck him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's all about it. And then um, he decides to get even. Be reasonable. After all, we're married. 
Consider that a divorce. <laughs> Shoots her in the fucking head. He shot her in the head with what sounded like a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> it was like such a loud explosion. <laughs> from, from like six feet away. And you know, have you ever noticed that throughout this entire movie, when someone gets shot in the head, and so many people do, they always get shot right in right the, right the middle. Head, yeah. Yeah. Right above the Because it's such a good secret agent that he can just aim like that. They don't the want time. there to be any question that it is, you're fucking dead. Like, there's no, like... Part of the brain you don't use bullet lodging bullshit. Yeah, you're dead everything. as shit. So, like Philip said, he just keeps seeing, finding a bunch of videos that he sent to himself and a bunch of secret agent shit. I think my favorite was the collar that goes around his. Oh no, no, it was the uh, the head. Oh yeah, the woman, oh, it was the, the disguise. Head. The disguise. Yeah, yeah. and he's it just turned turn, turn him into a fat woman. And then she's trying to get through, and he's like, how long will you be on Mars? And she says, two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. And then he asks her a different question, and I guess it's only programmed. Two two one weeks. word. Yeah, yeah, two words. I think it just broke. Two it really weeks. is what happened. And then it well, shorts the fuck out. Well, but even though before that, I'm sorry. Because our uh, giant head broke it from the inside. Well, <laughs> doesn't the thing also say, get ready for, for a surprise? surprise? And blows up. Yeah. I think it just shorts out. But Maybe. you know what? I think we're talking about a philosophy of a movie from 1990. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and it doesn't. It was made in the 80s. The part about this that just uh, I love is Michael Ironside is walking by <laughs> as this is happening. And, and he just is genuinely confused and is just like, what? Because of the sounds stuff? that's going on in the background. Two weeks! <laughs> it's not just graffiti. The Rebels took over the refinery last night. No Trevidian is going out, and it gets worse. The red <laughs> oh, It's not like a fucking retard circus is going on in the background. It's sort of like a constipated peanut butter dump. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's two retard arguing over something. <laughs> over a scratch and sniff sticker. I went to brown. Oh my god. Uh, Mike Iron's like, what, what the fuck is going yeah, on? Like, what the hell? He's that guy that annoying. causes a wreck because he's gawking at another wreck. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> exactly what he's doing. He's just like, everybody's yeah, walking like, just like, this, let's go. And he's like, no, I want to see this fat bitch. <laughs> I want to see this fat bitch over there having a meltdown. You know? Speaking of speaking of this scene, I just pointed something out to Travis last night because he brought the, the DVDs over or whatever, and we're looking at Total oh. Recall. <laughs> The only photo on Total Recall besides the cover photo is him <laughs> wearing that goddamn dress. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. what? Why? Oh, they just find things. the only time he dresses in drag in the whole movie, and it's like, this is what we have to get <laughs> no, from the DVD. What about when the head towel. starts to, uh, to short out? And then the earpiece pops out, but it pops out like 14 fucking inches. <laughs> really cool. Where's well, Arnold's head in there? It's telescopic. <laughs> it's a mask. No, it was not telescopic. It's, telescopic. A, it's a big pipe. It goes... <laughs> it's nope. just a big boner that comes out of his ear. <laughs> Shut up, Philip. <laughs> um, actually, I looked it up. Me <laughs> 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 did not. Me did not. You're right, I just wake up So, the Arnold goes to Mars, to and he sees the table of three moons. <laughs> First he yeah. sees the boom. And gets her the paper mache tits. chest annihilated by one of those Yeah, guns. why would you ever kill the chick with three titties? And why would you shoot her directly in her middle boob? <laughs> why? Shoot her in anywhere else. Shoot her directly in the middle of the head like you did every no, else. Everything, <laughs> no, just, I don't care who you are. You don't kill the chick with three titties. You don't. You don't do it. Doesn't he do it with, like, a fucking shotgun or something? something? It's like a giant fucking a machine weird gun? machine gun. And then he meets Watto, who's like Krang from Teenage Mutant. Oh, he's totally oh, is. Krang plus basket Krang. case. And like, me, yeah. me and Mark were trying to discuss because the guy who has Quato like formed into his stomach, his stomach, he doesn't look like like he's got the big bulk. No, he's or completely like, normal until yeah, he shows. Yeah, until he shows. So just like Quato, like he's wrecked out of the side. Yeah, he like bottom. slurps back in there. So it's like he kind of like because the actual guy, <laughs> the actual dude. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Quato looks like a rat baby. Yeah, <laughs> he's really he's nasty. No, he just looks like a it's, nasty a, it's a human too. But he's got a very normal <laughs> sounding voice. A very yeah. soothing yeah. voice. Soothing actually. voice throws his little like his little crank nasty sausage fingers up to Arnold and is like, "Give me your hands." Now open your mind to me, please. Open your mind. <laughs> like they couldn't they didn't have the budget or the technology to put like an echo effect on his voice so he just had to say my yeah. what no wait, wait hold on even better what if Gilbert Godfrey had been the voice of <laughs> no. open your mind <laughs> just 
It's the worst ever. Uh, and, oh, oh, what we're missing here is a large plot point. The reason that he wants to rub all over Arnold is because all mutants on Mars that look just you are psychic. Are psychic. Right. That's right. Except apparently the chick who had the, like, bolt cutter face. <laughs> bolt cutter face. Oh, yeah, that one and the chick with the three titties. Also, who, why do you need to be psychic if you have three titties? Yeah, but you it, already know what everyone's what was the guy, the guy with the ass for the head? Oh, yeah, that weird fucked about? up face. Ew. Oh, yeah, it just looks like he has a canal dug out. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. So... Butt face. Cohagen is stealing Blood the it. oxygen. The oxygen from, yeah. from everybody. Oh my god, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oxygen. And uh, steals it. Give him the ear! <laughs> oh god, we're going to have to play some air supply in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> But he steals it from the mutants, and they're all dying because the oxygen is being sucked out of there, and... Sir, the oxygen level is bottoming out in Sector G. What do you want me to do about it? Don't do anything. But they won't last an hour, sir. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> Just Fuck Bill. Em. Fuck them. <laughs> Don't bill. do anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Uh, I'm not really gonna do anything about Don't that. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, I mean, whatever. He captures Hauser again. He's kind of telling him how he's gonna brainwash him and make the girl his and make all his dreams come true. He says this about the chick. Well, you get to fuck her every night. That's right. She's gonna be Hauser's babe. <laughs> yeah, her babe. Hauser's oh. babe. <laughs> the eighties. Doogie Hauser's babe. Doogie Hauser's babe. It's gonna be Hauser's uh, babe. Oh. Well, no, he's not. Because that's funny because oh, get this shit. <laughs> because uh, Doogie Hauser's friend again. in that show was named Benny, I think. <laughs> so Italian kid, and then fucking Hauser's little mutant friend in this is Benny. Benny, really? Hey, screw you, Benny. <laughs> Benny. Oh yeah, who he like the Jet Rodriguez? He's got five kids to feed. Yeah, but he also gets he also gets drilled in the fucking face or oh whatever, or the side so or something he gets like annihilated. that. Annihilated. Or he's in that giant tank. And or he has a like, crazy like fucking retractable alien arm. Great yeah. mantis arm. Ooh, it's so nasty. It looks like one of the arms from. But then again, Day everything movies. about this movie is pretty much revolting. Rob- like the fucking part where he shoves that thing up his nose and has to pull the tracking device out. Oh yeah, just gross. Just of course, it's terrible. Oh, Dude, the worst yeah. is the the oxygen. Ooh, where's I? Oh, oh, I well, yeah. the bad guy, Kohagen, when he gets sucked out, it's full. But blood, all of them, yeah, like, yeah. just that used to terrify me as a it's child. It's a good effect and it's creepy. Well, we I just looked it up. Rob Botton does the makeup, oh, Rob Bottin, and uh, he does RoboCop. He's done a lot of stuff. And uh, Legend, which we that's what we've looked him up before on. But he also did The Fog and Piranha. Did he, did he do seven. Did he do the thing? Um, he did, did do the thing. Yeah, he also did The cool. Howling. He did The Fog, or did Star Wars. And unfortunately, he did Charlie Z. And the 1976 that's King Kong. pointless. With so seven. He's, he's got some pretty good movies under his belt for special club. effects. I haven't seen it. No. I mean, in a good range, too, from Star Wars to, like, Fight Club, where he's just doing, like, awesome bruised shit. and yeah. beat up shit. So... I mean, it's pretty, pretty fucking good, but I love Total Recall. It's it's just so fucking good. It's an excellent movie. Yeah. If I were gonna rank my, my favorite favorites. Arnold movies, I think um, it's up there for sure. It's probably I'm, top three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have top to go. Three. Terminator Two would be first. Probably Last Action Hero second, yeah. and then right. either yeah. either <laughs> this movie or uh, Running Man or no. This movie, Conan. God, fuck you. <laughs> no, not even Conan. Him. I mean, Hercules in New York. Uh, Jingle all the way. Twins. Going. Twins. Twins. Kindergarten Cop. Cop. Kindergarten Cop. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't consider that an Arnold movie. Dude, that movie's awesome. What? That movie's I consider great. that a children's movie. Are you serious? Movie. No. <laughs> do, not, do not make me argue with this. Like, the only thing, it's not a Christmas movie. <laughs> the only thing that can get fucked in that movie is Crisp's stupid ass hair. <laughs> yeah, remember when we saw Crisp at Walmart? God damn it, we did. <laughs> we did. Remember when we saw Crisp in that fucking zombies? I love how Crisp. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm living dead. I love how Crisp. <laughs> Arnold says Crisp's Crisp. name in that movie. He's like, Crisp. 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 You should have been a fucking spokesman for the fucking. I can't believe Martin just said Terror and Cops on an Arnold movie. No, it's, it's a good. children's movie. Please leave time. It's a ferret movie. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a ferret movie. You should go back in time and stop your birth. It's not an Arnold. It's not an Arnold. It's a ferret. No, it's a fucking Arnold. It's not an Arnold. It's not an Arnold. It's never bites. Predator. Predator. No, it would be probably end of days, honestly. Mando. Really? It's a that's a good movie. Not Predator. Sorry, Commando. End of days. <laughs> the point is, come on, don't go into Hulk Hogan movies. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, 
It's like I naturally went there. <laughs> like, oh, Commando, yeah. Commando is just too much oiled up Arnold for me. I love I it. It's, it's not enough oiled up Arnold. Yeah, and like the longer <laughs> it is, the dirtier, her, dirtier he got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. Boy. And then the the more naked he became. Like I mean, yeah, what was the whole point of him like get. stripping down to his underwear in the little boat? And, 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 and then, then puts clothes, clothes on. That made no sense. He just well, to get naked. I think we all four recommend both these movies. Oh, absolutely. Two yeah. really like, big, giant, erect dicks directly up. <laughs> yeah. Even yeah. though Mark talked shit about Running Man. Schwartz and Cox. <laughs> Whatever. Running Man's awesome. I do love Running Man. It's oh, so it's shitty. Good. It's not shitty. Shit is shitty. It's really shitty. It's cool running. It's cool running, man. Cool running, man. Cool running, man. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> this is the rest of the